Sierra. Hey guys, this is Terry. I wanted to give everybody an update on the uh, headliner deal that I've been working on. Um, I think on my last video I was working on laying it over the back of the cab. Well, that was kind of a pain in the butt to do that. Uh, especially due to the fact that once I got to this area here, the belt line got into the way. So it had to actually be cut off here and then I had to come back in and add more on to here to get it to this bar that was in here or is in here uh, that I used to kind of maintain the profile of the cab and to actually mount this backboard too. Um, so there's some body work involved. Um, this has actually been body worked with uh, Dynaglass two layers of Dynaglass and then after that I went to your normal lightweight filler uh, to finish it off. Uh, originally this hole was going to be just barely big enough just to get it in here and after the several attempts of trying to get this in and out uh, and make it at least installable uh, I realized that that wasn't going to be the case so I opened this up a little bit to accommodate this ring that sandwiches the seal and the rear window in which is goes somewhere like this I know I'm not lit up very well here, but maybe you can get the picture drift. Um, for two reasons I'm going to open that up. One, I don't want to have to take the rear window out to remove the headliner panel. So that's mainly the primary reason. And then the installability of it uh, is this, the next one. Um, as you can see over here on each side, this side and that side's the same. That's what I had to do to get this to come to where I could get one side out or the other out to actually remove it. Uh, what'll end up happening is up here is once the window's installed, uh, I will make a tool and plasma cut a, a sleeve that'll fit around here. It'll be split in the middle. It'll be covered with leather or maybe wind lace or something like that to slide in after the fact and finish and cover up any uh, any of the ugliness of this so that's the plan there uh, as far as down here in these areas here I'm going to the plan has always been to get this part here make another add a little part here to get to this layer level here um, this will be removable, of course, to get the headliner in and out. And it'll be fit along this area here and die off and be fit around here. And it'll have a 10 hundredths gap to allow for leather wrapping this way and leather wrapping around this part. Uh, it'll have, there'll be a left and a right, obviously, for this side and that side. Um, but yeah, it's not very easy to get it in and out. Uh, it's doable and that's good enough for me. Uh, my next goal will be to start to get this fit, make sure the contour is gonna be right at the back with where, what this contour here is. Make sure it doesn't look whopper jawed when everything's said and done. And once that area there is actually bond, fit in here and bonded together, I will probably go ahead and uh, resin and do some kind of a mechanical fastener to fasten some tabs on that to catch on the back side of this so it'll kind of like hook up and then there may be something happen over here to get this to uh, play right if the contour doesn't match up perfect like I want it to so and it'll just those clips will hold it at the back and then I'll do maybe two or three mounting points in this flange on the overhead console, which was always the plan to hold. This flange is there for that purpose, to hold hold this assembly in and the headliner. So, 
Any hoozle, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, I guess I'll finish up the headliner and then put the interior back in and make sure that it actually looks how I want it to look. And then we'll move on to uh, start finalizing some of the numerous things that I've left for we'll do later uh, areas. Um, like finalizing some of the gaps on the hood and the doors and I think I'm going to weld this a little bit better along in here. I'm, it will end, eventually end up being seam sealed. Uh, I got just a lot of stuff. Everywhere there's a piece of tape is something that I need to revisit. So start doing that. Take the, take the motor out, take it, disassemble it and start doing the body work part of it and get moved towards finishing it up. I'd like to have a rolling, uh, completely painted and rolling chassis with the motor back in, the wheels and tires back on by the end of this year. And then next year, just do the, the body, finish up some body work on the cab and the rest of it and paint it. And, Cause it won't take long to put it together. But anyhow guys, that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching.